Hi everybody, today I have Bluetooth speakers from our friends at AT&T. Normally when you have two speakers from the same company, you can tell they share a common lineage, but these speakers couldn't be more different. The differences start right away at first impressions. This is the box for the AT&T Essentials CI. This is the box for the AT&T Essentials Link A4. And I'm not even sure if that's the modeling. That's what shows up in the Bluetooth information. The CI claims to have 360 degree sound, but I think that just means that it's round because you can see the speaker is clearly under the label area. The CI does have a 15 watt driver, but it is complemented by a passive radiator on the bottom. The CI doesn't have a whole lot of bass, but it does sound best if you suspend it in the air and just let the passive radiator do its thing. I have reviewed a lot of small speakers, and most of the time, it is very easy to drive them into distortion. With the CI, you can turn it up to maximum volume, and you won't get any distortion. It's not that loud, but when they say 15 watts, they are 15 usable watts. When I hold the speaker up to bright light, it is pretty easy to identify where the buttons are and what they do. But if you are not in broad daylight, it's another story. The buttons have no ink and they are not lit except for the power button in the middle. And they rely solely on a different texture to let you know where the, what they are. And that's just not the easiest usability scenario. Like I said earlier, I think the speaker sounds best if you suspend it from a loop. There are feet on the bottom of the speaker that slightly elevate it off the surface, but it does mute the limited bass that's available. Another option is you could rest it on the top of the speaker um, it is rounded, so it'll wobble a little bit, but it won't fall over. I don't know. Like I said, the best bet is just to hang it. The CI comes in four colors, black, gray, green, or this blue. I do give AT&T credit because a lot of speaker manufacturers will certify their speakers as IPX5 and then claim that it is waterproof. And that's not what it means. AT&T clearly and and properly labels it as IPX5 water resistant. You can get this wet, you can splash it, but don't submerge this in water. As you can tell, the CI has an RGB lighting system, and I actually think it looks better in real life than it does on the video. There are six modes to choose from, or you can turn it off. There is a rubber plug on the back, and it's difficult to see, but inside there is the USB-C charging port, and a TF card slot. The TF card will support MP3, WAV, or FLAC files. And I, I do appreciate that, but there's not a lot of room back here. And once you stick that card in, it's really difficult to, to pull it out again. Um, I think you might need tweezers. If you have two of these speakers, you can wirelessly connect them together with TWS mode true wireless stereo that will give you left and right channel and double the power. Some people consider hands-free calling to be an important feature of a Bluetooth speaker. If that describes you, you may be disappointed with the CI. You will sound very quiet to the person you are talking to. The two features I like most about the AT&T Essential CI is the RGB lighting system, which I think is very bright and colorful and the fact that you can turn it up all the way to maximum volume and you won't get distortion. That is actually a very unusual feature for a speaker of this class. I'm not saying it sounds the best, but it, you, can, you can't make it sound bad, which I think is, is definitely something to consider. I'm going to give this a four out of five star rating. This is the AT&T Essentials Link A4, and the only reason why I call it that is because that is what appears in the list of devices on my phone. It's not on the box, it's not in the instructions. I couldn't even find it on the Amazon listing. Can you tell this is from AT&T? Not really, but if you look very closely, you can see an AT&T logo on the bottom. I guess it's a matter of opinion, but these RGB strips are actually pretty subtle. 
Um, I, they're not that colorful, they're not that bright, but maybe that's exactly what you're looking for. I have reviewed a lot of Bluetooth speakers and so many of them have buttons that are difficult to see, difficult to identify, and therefore difficult to use. The A4 has buttons that are lit, clearly labeled, uh, but these are not the only buttons. There are two more on this side. Okay, so they're identical, which may seem like they are difficult to identify. However, if you consider that the loop is the top of the speaker, then you know that the top button is volume up and next track. The bottom button is previous track volume down. That's not bad. The A4 is round, but I wouldn't say it has a 360 degree listening experience. There is definitely a loud spot on this side and um, a dead spot on this side. But I don't hold that against it. It still sounds really good. And it has dual passive radiators on the top of the bottom. So you can set this on a surface and it's still going to sound good. You can suspend it from something and it will still sound good that way too. However, this is a speaker that is easy to drive into distortion. And that is disappointing. But if you keep it at 50% volume, this sounds really good. It has a very deep bass that's very pleasing. It, everything, everything about this sounds fantastic at 50% volume or less. If you can keep it to that, not only will it sound great, but you'll extend your battery life too. In fact, I would say just plan on that because it, while it's only a 10 watt speaker and you think, well, 10 watts, if I keep it at 50% volume, that's only five watts. Yes, but it is five excellent sounding watts. So if you're someone who wants to listen to very, very good music at a low volume, this is a, you definitely want to consider this speaker. AT&T says that this is IPX6 waterproof. IPX6 is not waterproof. IPX6 is very water resistant, but don't bring this into the pool with you. Don't take this tubing. Just, you can, you can bring this to the pool, but not in the pool. This is a pool side speaker. There is a 2000 milliamp hour battery in the A4, and they say you can expect up to eight hours of playback on that battery. If you use the speaker, as I suggest, at 50% volume, I think you will achieve those numbers. If you happen to have two of these speakers, you can listen to them in TWS mode. That's true wireless stereo. You can wirelessly connect them together in a left and right channel experience and double your power. And there's not much power to double. But I think that is very interesting because like I said, one of these sounds really good at 50% volume. If you had two of these, I think you could be very happy. The instructions are a bit of a mystery. I think they have suffered from a copy and paste issue that talks about features that this speaker doesn't even have, like um, FM radio. No, there's no FM radio here. But I think they're good enough and you can figure the rest out by yourself. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. I'm going to give the AT&T Essentials a four out of five star rating. You can get a very pleasurable experience with this speaker, but you do have to work within its limitations. And I think that's okay, but just I just want you to know what to expect. Both of these speakers come from AT&T, but they couldn't be more different. I think they come from different factories. Uh, from the box design, one is just co color photos and and bragging and all that, and one is just plain white box. Uh, the color, these are both considered blue, very different blue. The button schemes are totally different. The the loops are different. The the RGB lighting systems very very different. So yeah, that's. They're both from AT&T, but uh, they're, it's like worlds apart. The CI has the better RGB system, has the better battery, it's louder. The A4 sounds the best. And so if I had to pick between these two speakers, I'm going to pick the A4.